Algebra 2, Lesson 10.10, .10, we're going to use right triangle trig, SOHCAHTOA, to help find a length in a word problem. But the catch is today we're going to be working with two right triangles to find that length. Look at example one. Thankfully, we have a picture, a lighthouse. Now, I've highlighted that in green. It sits at the edge of a cliff, the, a ship at sea level. 750 meters away uh, from the base of the cliff. We've got an angle of elevation to the base that is the bottom of uh, that lighthouse. That's 24.7 degrees. And an angle of elevation to the top of the lighthouse. That's 28.4. So find the height of the lighthouse from the top of the cliff. In other words, find the length of that green lighthouse here. How tall is it just from bottom to top right here? We're trying to find that height. Well, I hope you do in fact see that there really are two triangles that we could be focused on. We can look over here at this little triangle and I'm going to go ahead and draw that separately, in fact. I'm going to draw that right over here. And we could say here's 750. Here's 24.7. And uh, I'm going to call this length right here X. Okay, that's not the height of the lighthouse. It's really the distance from the sea level up to the base of the cliff. But you see, there's also another triangle that we could definitely take a look at. I'm going to highlight that in red. That's right here. And if we were to draw that out, well, you could say it's still 750 down below. We know that. But now we have a much bigger angle. We've got 28.4 degrees. And that would find the whole length of this side. That's what we would call Y. So, guys, we could find X and we could find Y. Just out of a hypothetical situation, let's just pretend that this big length of Y, let's just say it was 500 just to speak of something. And let's just say the X right here was, say, 300 just to give it a number. Do you think knowing that from the very top all the way to the bottom is 500 uh, uh, meters and from the base here to the bottom is 300. Could we work with those two numbers and somehow get what's in green? I hope you'd look at the 500 and the 300 and say I could subtract. 500 minus 300, this would be 200. Now, of course, we don't know those numbers, but regardless, we can figure them out. See, we've got SOHCAHTOA. And guys, with SOHCAHTOA, wow, this can help us out tremendously. If I were to just very quickly label from the 24.7 that's opposite uh, down here is adjacent and O and A you'd say well that's tangent I could say tangent of 24.7 degrees would equal X all over 750 because uh, that's my opposite over adjacent well, tell you what we're going to do. We'll just do some cross multiplying. We'll get 1 times x is just an x. Then I'll have 750 times the tangent of 24.7. Okay? Well, we can do the same thing here with this triangle down below. We can say go directly across. That's opposite. This would be adjacent. And it's the exact same type of problem. The only difference, of course, is we've got a different angle. I could say the tangent of 28.4, same reasons that we just saw above, opposite over adjacent is tangent. This time we'll say y over 750. And that's your opposite over adjacent, of course. We're going to cross multiply. 1 times y is a y. And then we get 750 times the tangent of 28.4. Well, again, you'll take this whole big thing, your y minus x. 
Just like before, if I told you you had 500 and 200, how do you find the length of that green? You take the whole thing minus that little part. Well, guess what? Your lighthouse is going to be this whole thing right here. Y minus X. Uh, 750 tangent of 28.4 minus 750 tangent of 24.7. So I'm going to get the calculator out and we'll just get that thing typed in real fast and we'll say 750 tangent of 28.4 close your parentheses because we're done with the angle minus 750 tangent of 24.7 notice just like we were doing yesterday we're not rounding off we're you know keeping these answers exact and you can see that 60.6 .6 meters would be the height of the lighthouse. So we use the two triangles to get our information. Let's take a look at this problem right here. I think you can see two triangles very quickly. Maria is sitting in a movie theater and she's 21 meters from the screen. By the way, the 21 would be from the screen to her eyes. You know, they've listed 21 down here, but it's going right down the center. The angle of elevation from her screen, from her line of sight to the top of the screen is 17. You can see that right here. Angle of depression to the bottom is 38. Could we find the height of the whole screen? Here's an X, here's a Y. So once again, you can say, hey, do we in fact see uh, you know, two triangles. I certainly hope you do. Here's one of them. And then we can say, well, what about the other one? The other one we could say is in green. It would be like right over here. If you want to, I would certainly recommend that we draw those two triangles separately. Look at that. Here's our top triangle in blue. Here's our bottom triangle which is in green. And uh, once again, once I find the X and the Y, I'm trying to find this total distance. X is just a part of the distance. Y would be the other part of the distance. We wouldn't subtract here. We're going to put them all together. We'd add X and Y. So here we go again. As we're working this out, let's label our triangles. You know, this would be opposite. This would be adjacent. And by the way, even down below, this would be opposite, 38 going across to Y. Here's your adjacent. And of course, if we're going to write out Sokotoa, my goodness, writing out Sokotoa, guys, I think you can see, once again, we're with tangent. By the way, not every problem necessarily is tangent. It does show up a lot. Tangent of 17 is going to be X over 21 because that's your opposite up on top adjacent down below we're just going to cross multiply 1 times x is x and we'll have 21 times the tangent of 17 degrees uh, let's take a look at what's happening with our y it's the same thing down here uh, in this other triangle we'll have tangent this time of 38 degrees because again we have opposite and adjacent that's y over 21. Do some cross multiplying. 1 times y is y. And we'll have 21 times the tangent of 38. Well, to finish this off, we're going to take x plus y. You know, we've got a part of the screen and another part of the screen. And again, notice once again, I'm not rounding this off. I'm just you know, putting it all together. So. Let's see where we're going with this. This is 21 tangent of 17, close your parentheses, 21 tangent of 38. And uh, rounding to one decimal to the nearest tenth, we'd get 22.8. So of course that's 22.8 meters. That's your total length. One more problem and then we're through. Uh, Again, I think stating the obvious, you can see from the very beginning 
there is one triangle. Here's that common theme over and over and over again. You're going to see two triangles. And, uh, you know, just reading here, you know you're going to find two missing pieces and work from there. Looking up, Diane sees two hot air balloons in the sky. She determines the lower hot air balloon is 515 meters away at an angle of 15 degrees from the vertical. The higher hot air balloon is 840 meters away uh, at an angle of 22 degrees. So what they want you to do is how much higher, find out how much higher the balloon on the right is than the balloon on the left. Well, let's go ahead and work with this triangle in blue. Here's 515, here's 15 degrees. When we're talking about heights, we have to go vertical. So I'm going to call this X. And then we're going to have our green triangle over here. Well, here's 22 degrees. And here's 840 meters. Well, if we're going to talk about the height of uh, that balloon, we have to go straight up and down. I'm going to call that Y. And uh, tell you what, we're going to label our triangles real quickly. Um, this is our hypotenuse. Wow, we're using hypotenuse today. Uh, the X is adjacent. Uh, over in this other triangle, once again, this is a hypotenuse. And this Y here is also adjacent. So we've got Sokotoa. So wow, as we're working through Sokotoa, A and H, guys, that's cosine. So we can write the cosine of 15 degrees is equal to X all over 515. Right here, we can say the cosine of 22 degrees is equal to y all over 840. That's your adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, let's cross multiply. We'd get x is equal to 515 times the cosine of 15 degrees. We could say cross multiplying, you'd get y is equal to 840 times the cosine of 22 degrees. Uh, but look, if I've got Y right here and if I've got X right there, you'd say, well, how much higher are they? That is that one on the right. That's the difference in their heights, isn't it? What we need to do is find Y minus X. So we'll have 840 cosine of 22 degrees minus 515 cosine of 15 degrees. And we'll just get that thing typed out. So it's 840 cosine of 22 minus 515 cosine of 15 degrees. Again, going to the nearest decimal, that's 281.4. So it's 281.4 meters that's how much taller uh, the higher balloon is.